Part 8, Services Lesson 1, High-Tech Products Dialogue 1, Computer Failure Could you come and help me mend the computer, Neil? What's wrong with it? I can't log on the internet again. Let me see. Did you change anything on your computer? No, never. What kind of antivirus software do you use? I don't have this kind of software. Are you kidding? You have to install an antivirus software on your computer. If not, it will be attacked by viruses and it can lead your computer into failure. Dialogue 2. By MP3. Can I help you? I'm looking for an MP3 player. Which brand is of the highest quality? I recommend Pioneer. Which model is the best seller? This model is very popular with ladies. May I have a look at it? Sure, it's multifunctional. Besides playing music, it can also be used to store documents and make recordings. Do you have this model in white? No, but we have it in yellow. Then I'll take the yellow one. Please wait a second. I'll get it for you. Okay. Dialogue 3. Can't play. Honey, could you help me operate the VCD player? It can't play. Oh, are the connections correct? I think so. Let me see. Look, you confused the video frequency with the audio frequency. I'm too careless. Can it work now? No. So what's the problem? Maybe there is something wrong with the disc. It's a new disc. Give it to me. Here you are. Uh, the movie of Tom Hanks. I know why it can't play. This is a DVD disc. Lesson 2. At a post office. Dialogue 1. Send a letter. Would you please weigh this letter for me? Well, it's a bit overweight. You must pay extra for it. How much? We demand a surcharge of 80 cents for it. Dialogue 2. Send press work. Excuse me? May I help you? Yes, I'd like to send this book to France. Let me weigh it first. That'll be $14. Can it go in an envelope? Of course. It's four dollars now. Do I need stamps? No, you don't. We use computers now. When will it arrive? In a month. Dialogue 3. Inquire about the remittance. Good morning, madam. Can I help you? Yes, I've come to inquire about a $6,000 remittance from California. Has it arrived? May I have your name, please? My name is Jenny Clinton. I see. Wait for a moment, please. I'm sorry, Mrs. Clinton, but the remittance does not appear to have arrived yet. Really? It should have arrived. It was sent a week ago. If the money was sent by cable, it would take it about one or two days. But if it was sent by airmail, it would take at least one week. Well, then I'll come again the day after tomorrow. Or would you like us to phone you when the money arrives? That would be very kind of you. Could you please tell me your phone number so we'll give you a ring as soon as the remittance has arrived? The phone number is 328-6765, extension 105. Thank you. We'll inform you in time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Lesson 3 at a bank. Dialogue 1. 
Open an account. Can I help you, miss? Yes, I'd like to open an account. Certainly, miss. What kind of account would you want? I'm not too sure, but I need an account from which I can withdraw money anytime I like and get some interest on it as well. Well, I think a current account would be to your satisfaction. You can make withdrawals from the bank and the ATMs anytime you'd like. That's great, but what's the annual interest rate for this kind of account? At present, the rate is 1.8% a year. Good. I think I'll open a current account, please. Okay, please fill out this application form. Yes, name, address, phone number, that's it. Will $100 be enough to open this account? Yes, of course. Here you are. Fine. Wait a moment, please. Here's your bank book, miss. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Dialogue 2. Withdraw money. Good afternoon, miss. What can I do for you? Could you tell me my account balance? My number is... Just a moment, please. Your name? Emily Smith. Here's your balance. Thank you. I want to make a withdrawal of $150. Here you go, miss. Thank you. Dialogue 3. Close an account. The City Bank, may I help you, sir? Yes, I'd like to close my account. May I have your name, please? Adam Smith. All right, what's your address? 56 Edison Avenue. Apartment 39, Los Angeles. When would you like your account closed? Next Friday. Okay. Where would you like to have your last bill sent to? 14 Mayflower Avenue, Los Angeles. All right. We'll take care of that. Lesson 4. Facial. Dialogue 1. Skin care. Hi, Mark. I know you're an expert in skin care. Well, I wouldn't say that, but I do know something. So how can I help you? I think I have oily skin, and there's always small bumps here and there on my face. How can I get rid of them? They're really irritating. Well, I would suggest that you wash your face often. Every night you should rinse your face with lukewarm water, then pat it dry with a clean towel. Make sure you don't rub it dry, then apply this cream to your face. Oh, this cream? Yeah, it's pretty effective in wiping out pore clogging dirt and oil. It rids your face of dead cells and helps stimulate circulation. Wow! Oh, just use a small amount on the oily areas. Also, don't rub it hard. Just dab it lightly. I'll keep that in mind. Of course. Also, I would suggest you get a facial every four to six weeks for deep cleaning. Dialogue 2. Plastic Surgery Do you know anyone who's had plastic surgery? You mean like a breast enlargement? I don't think that's really necessary. That's not the way a woman should stay attractive. Why not? Why can't we go back to the way things were? Because! I don't know! But Connie, you wouldn't do that, would you? Darned right I would. Maybe makeup would be enough? Come on, Liz. Be open-minded. Look at my eyes. They're puffy. And my eye bags? They're dark and loose and full of lines and circles. I really hope surgery can wipe out the tired feelings. But what would other people think? I don't care what other people think. I'm ready for a lift. Dialogue 3. Envy Others Beauty. 
She's really pretty, isn't she? Her skin looks so baby smooth. Well, it's just that she puts a lot of makeup on her face. Actually, natural beauty comes from within. Ah, I can smell jealousy in the air. She has nothing that deserves my jealousy. I don't have to put things on my face and I still look pretty. Don't you think so? Yeah, right. But what did you put on your face last night? Those little greenish things. They're cucumbers. They're natural skin soothers, natural healers of the skin. Haven't you heard them say on TV that are, they soften the skin, wipe out the roughness, counter irritation, and build strength and resilience? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They wipe out tight, tired feelings and remove lines and age signs. Blah, 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 blah. See, I can even recite it. That's right. You've learned a lot, haven't you? Lesson 5 at a Hairdressers Dialogue 1 Ladies Haircut and Dye I'm ready for a new hairdo. Do you have any suggestions? Have you taken a look at any of the new styles lately? Yes, I bought a magazine to show you. I like this one. Oh, that's pretty. Do you want to keep your hair this long, or do you want to take it shorter? I think you would look cute with the short hair. Perhaps you could go even shorter than the picture. I'll leave it up to you. Like I said, I'm ready for a change. Okay. You should really think about getting some highlights put in, too. Do you think that would look good? I'm worried that it will make my hair look unnatural. No, it won't. The highlights are very subtle. We can do a little bit this time. If you like it, we can do a little bit more next time. Otherwise, the highlights should grow out in about four weeks. Okay, just do what you want. I count on you. By the way, how much do you charge for a shampoo and set? Sixty dollars in total. Dialogue 2. Perm. It's been a long time, Mrs. Lee. Yes, I went to Hawaii on a vacation with my husband. When did you come back? Did you have a good time? We came back the day before yesterday. I enjoyed myself there very much. The beach is beautiful. You should go there some day. The sun was lovely, too. I will. How would you like your hair today? The same style as usual? I have a special party to attend tonight, and I'd like to change my style. Actually, I'm thinking about a perm. My sister is getting married next month. I think that if I have a perm now, I'll look very natural by then. What do you say? That's true. Here are some sample hairstyles. What do you think about this one? No, I don't like short hair. I like this one. The waves look beautiful, and it fits my age too. Very well. You're not in a hurry, are you? No, you can take your time. Oh. I also want a manicure while I'm having the perm. Okay, the manicurist will be right here. Thank you. How much will this cost? It's $90 in all. Dialogue 3. Gentleman's Haircut Good afternoon, sir. Please sit here. A haircut and a shave, please. How would you like your hair cut, sir? Short on both sides. Not so much off the back. Very well, sir. Do you want me to trim your beard? Yes, please. Now have a look, please. Is it all right? Well, I would like my hair cut shorter on the temples. Is that satisfactory? Yes, thanks. Do you want conditioner? No, thanks, but I'd like a facial massage. Yes, sir. Now, where should I pay the money? You should go to the counter, just over there. Hey, guys, don't forget to click the subscribe button below. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment. I love your comments. 
and share this video with your friends. Thank you.